Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Alexander Williamson here with The Secret History Living in Your Aquarium. And today we aren't in the aquarium. We are going out and looking at some footage that was filmed uh, in late December. And this is down in Florida. And Dr. Anthony Maserol of the Amazon Research Center for Ornamental Fish, as well as Grant and Shelby Eater, who have the Garden of Eater Shrimp uh, website and the largest shrimp breeding collection in North America by a long shot, the most Caridina species of anybody, uh, together collecting, having fun out there, trying to find pygmy gulf uh, sunfish and elisoma, gilbert eye, and everglade eye. And uh, I think you'll get a kick out of it. It's pretty, if nothing else. And it shows you um, what we went through to get a hold of just half a dozen or so of these beautiful native North American fish. Enjoy. There's a ton of action going on on the top of the water here. Same ditch, just further down. And I don't know who is fighting what, but I mean, there is just a wild amount of activity. And I'm trying to see through the glare what in the heck is going on here. Good golly, Miss Molly. We got a hopper. We've got, what is it? Yeah, it's another cichlid. It looks like another acara, some sort. Eating gambusia, hanging out in the shallows. Uh, size, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a decent size. Actually, it might be some different form. It's got some different color and markings than the others. I'll take a picture. All right, so right away we have a catch. Now, this could be a black acara. I am not 100% sure. Uh, it looks like a middle-aged to young adult one <clears throat> to me. It's very beat up, so it's probably been in fights with other acaras or bluegills or something like that. But you can see that it's got kind of uh, yellowish green colors and then a white belly with the stripe almost coming to a spot and then also some blue uh, and green over the eye with the eye being kind of a burgundy or red uh, also there's a little bit of like white uh, rough exposed uh, skin that I don't know if it's irritation or what but it's interesting when you find wild fish a lot of times they aren't actually that healthy here um, there we go and let's see can we make out what they are they look like albino gambusia swoop that water like throw it out and pull it back yep you got some nice so we've got uh, a platy or a molly wow look how fat that is actually that that might be a cichlid i'm not sure i'm gonna have to take a picture of you you are weird looking i don't know what that one is should be called stick bug creek because every scoop i'm just getting a whole bunch of stick bugs and shrimp more than fish even unless you count Gambusia as fish, which at this point I don't know, but that is very pretty. Look at these, look at these, all this um, this immersed growth going right to the water. Really cool. I think it's baby tears. That's what I was trying to say earlier, but the words wasn't coming out of my mouth. All right, guys. So here is the collection today uh, of what I wanted to keep. So we've got some long. Uh, long shiners of some sort with a big black line down the side then we've got the blue fin killies here's another one of those long shiners uh, we've got an elisoma that has some beautiful blue it's so dark that it's looking like a crimson kind of color and then we've got lots of golden top minnows uh, all of which had red at one point but they're a little stressed out right now then we have a whole bunch of cypress and I believe swamp darters. I think there's two different types. And then we also got that gambusia that you see upside down there. And his swim bladder is messed up. He's still breathing fine, 
but he keeps huffing and puffing and turning upside down so um all right guys we are at cruise park here we are we are at the lake and there is a boardwalk i'm here to catch up with dr anthony and i'm guessing the eater family at least grant and dr anthony my lips are red from gatorade hey look here rules no bikes watch for wheelchairs no skateboards no fun but I think I may have found them, or at least another crazy family with nets trying to collect fish. Weirdos. Yeah, that's them. Them and their wild habitat. I don't see the muddy Dr. Anthony. Soma! We got a system going now, folks. We're catching them in teams, but here is a nice little female. <laughs> cranes? Oh, sandhill cranes? What are those? Nuts. Yeah, sound. They sound like velociraptors? Yes. I bet they use them or something for the sound effect. I'm pretty sure they did. Alright, so we caught lots of spiders and looks like a smallmouth bass. It's kind of pretty. It's got purple on it. He's got really big spines uh on uh, two on his anal fin and then it looks like he's got uh no real pectoral spines but he's got the big big spines up on his dorsal and a big eye to see and hunt down his prey small mouth uh because the jawbone doesn't come back behind the eye uh the jaw piece there that's how you can usually tell but down here it's tricky Guess what, guys? I also found a PhD in ichthyology. I only play one on TV. <laughs> and Grant, Shelby, and the two kids. And the two kids. You're gonna call yourself the two kids? That's what you're gonna go with? Okay. All right. Well, we got to get this bass back in the water. Gambusia, you've been gamboozled. You need a Soma? Oh my god. Look at that beauty. Oh nice. Another one is oh, beautiful. Man. Beautiful Elisoma. Banded pygmy gulf pygmy co <laughs> Um, why are all these <clears throat> she saw it in the water and she just went for it like a heron. <laughs> so, are you bagging each one in its own bag? That's how it should be done. Okay. Twenty-five dollar fish in Europe. Forty in Seattle right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Three to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, hey, it's your net. <laughs> okay. Right. That, that's yeah, they better be small. free here. Um, my net, my rules. <laughs> Mark, it's just barely net. So. This is why you get a PhD, so you can collect you can collect fish like this. That's that's it. You yeah. Know, the medium is collecting <laughs> for the professor. That's right. You all get uh, half a credit for this work. Nice little female, and I gotta get her over to the crew. She is a pretty one. They are really neat little fish, but they hang out in groups. And this is a female. Uh, they hang out in groups as babies. Now we're combing a pond with everybody. We sh if we had a seine net, we could just get this done quickly. And uh, the problem, the, the, the grass is nice because you can get, you can lay it down and then pull back, but the littlest fish are gonna hide under that. So then you wanna come back through when they've relaxed and come back to the top. But I've found the most fish right where he just swiped, right in the shallows. They are so pretty. This one was showing off for the ladies. Got bright blue on him with the metallic spots and the bands. This is a Elisoma Gilbert eye. And I'm not sure the female I caught is a Gilbert eye. 
but she's in here. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna make sure it's for everybody. What's in that pond over there? When are you trying to get out? Just do this. All right. Let's get some more. Elisoma. Where's this Elisoma? Is it in your net? I've been, they've been hard to find this trip. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful. So it's abandoned, huh? Dr. Anthony knew he was doing the right thing by giving me the net. Very cool. He's like, I'm bringing this nice. to Peru. He's going to catch all the new species. Yeah. Wow. That was just in the shallow water here? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go go for it. I'm go looking for snakes. New Gola. <laughs> you gonna put them back for me? Thank you. Where's the water? Right over there. It's a bass, smallmouth bass. Oh yeah, here. Go ahead. You can eat. One more time, Elo. So we got. A pygmy sunfish here. It looks like it might be a female too. She's not real colorful. Uh, but boy, we needed some females. So now I gotta get back over to there. Uh, so I gotta get my critter container. And uh, like I said, we were just trying out the mud. And we got one finally. Elo! Little blue fish. Uh, they're little, they're called Elisoma Gilbert Eye mostly. So Shelby is trying to catch more fish. I'm guessing she wants Elisoma. What are you looking for, Shelby? Elisoma. Yeah. That seems to be the ticket of the day. I like bluefin killies just as much, but I haven't seen a single one here la earlier in the week or today. So. Yeah, golden top minnows earlier. Golden top minnows, yeah. I have so many of those in that tank. I'm sure. I won't know what to do with them. <laughs> but they're working on that. Cool. And what's this? Oh, that is a bright it's a bryozoan. Hey, you got a little least killifish, Heteranda formosa, you got a little sunfish or a little flagfish oh, fry. It's a pig. And nice. um, a lot of algae, cyanobacteria, another Highly least brutal. killifish. No clonophora? No. No no. I haven't seen much here. Cladophora. Very good. Is that how it is? Cladophora. Yeah. Grant's been steering me wrong, and I didn't even know what this I, stuff was no, before I, I got I, here. Uh, you corrected his error. Well, more like I made fun of him. <laughs> That's how you teach Grant. And you can see how wrapped up they get. Now let's take a look at this one up close, just for fun. Oh, that cyanobacteria and algae is gross. So. You can see that very uh, strong spot on them and the shape. And then they grow into it and they get more and more little dots on them. So they're a fun one, but this is hard to look through. So I'm going to put them back. Good eye, you found him. Thank you. He's so pretty. He's bright blue and black. Let's get him in the water. All right. And we got a girlfriend for him already in the bag, so. Yeah, he's he's a nice. Beautiful. Nice Do you want to bring um, sweet we'll get a better to shot. The dock? But right in here, you can really see them very active. And there are bass and acara in here. We caught that, that bass right in here, too. So I'm going to try again. They're catching elisoma in the uh, the grassy areas over there. So I'm really curious to see what we'll end up with in the grassy areas here that were much more recently wet. Like this is withdrawing by the day. And you can actually see when a big fish comes to the surface. So let's see what we get. I gotta have both hands to fish. So I'll check in soon after I put these guys. Swipes, nothing. Just mud, spiders, and water scorpions. Boy, this looks like it might be a red spot sunfish. I can't tell for sure, but I see a red dot right behind the uh, the gill cover. But just look at the beautiful colors in this fish. 
Looks very similar to a bluegill, uh, but it might be some other type of sunfish. I just don't know with it being so young and small, but it is beautiful. And in these black waters full of tannins and anthocyanins and carotenoids, they just grow to look incredible. So sometimes these are the best spots. We're on our way up to Lucas Brett's. Look at all the hydrocotyl here. There's also mermaid, uh, mermaid weed and uh, mimosa growing in here. All right, so we're following this ditch. It gets pretty steep, the bank. But you can see it's just alive with movement. If you look at the water, it's all mollies and gambusia and top fins, golden top minnows rather. You can see one that's just lazily sitting there, right on top there. Try a couple more swipes and see if we find anything interesting. Side by side, look at that. The black and gold dust with a normal one. The wild strain. All right, all right, we'll get you back in the water. All right, I hear you. Get you back in, in your little ditch. Hold on. All right, so sometimes these spots are the best. Right off the highway, you just see water and you decide, you know what? It looks like a little ditch with nothing in it, but maybe I'm wrong. And as we, you can see how lush this is. We got all sorts of uh, like a mimosa in, uh, grass. We've also got a hydrocotyle. We got these pretty flowers. And in here, it looks like we don't have much but snails, but I will be willing to bet you almost anything that there are fish somewhere in here. And Oh, look what we come to at the end of the line over here. You can see the fish have actually rearranged the substrate. So either there's a big fish in there that is rearranging things, uh, or the little fish just with their, their swim motion have done it. So we're gonna take a scoop out of there and see what we find just in this bank parking lot. Wow, wasn't that cool down there? Ah, oh, I can't wait to get back down there. And thanks to you guys, I actually have saved up and I'm getting my uh, tooth and jaw surgery finally. So I will finally be able to have hopefully a somewhat functional and normal mouth for the first time in four years. And while I'm down there, of course I'm gonna do some fish collecting because I can't help myself. Uh, I just can't. But thank you so much to all you viewers, subscribers, passersby, and you know, really to you super chatters, members, people who watch the ads and uh, sit through all this stuff, all these long, nerdy videos of mine. Thank you so much. We're kindred spirits, and I appreciate you guys watching so very much. So I will see you guys next time, and let me know what you'd like to see from my next trip to Florida while I'm recovering from the oral surgery and jaw surgery I'm getting done in May. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.